the gold standard for policing should be synonymous with Chicago. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. So today, the uh, Mayor Lori Lightfoot, she had a press conference giving updates on what's going on with, um, you know, uh, things as far as opening up, you know, uh, the city and um, policing, policing. And it was said that the gold standard for policing should be synonymous with Chicago. Okay, so they're trying to go in a different direction as it relates to policing and the um, relationship between the community and law enforcement. Now, I don't see that happening in a positive way, policing being a gold standard and being synonymous with Chicago. Okay, as long as police officers can police with immunity, right, and kill with impunity, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Now, a judge, a, a judge, a judge ordered, okay, a judge ordered the Chicago police to turn over 48 years, 48 years of misconduct reports, 48 years. That says a lot. That's not gold standard to me. Okay, that's almost, that's a half a century worth of police misconduct, right? No matter who it was against, it's police misconduct, right? But, you know, we already know the business when it comes to uh, black folks, right? We know this. Um, there also hasn't been a um, ruling in the consent decree for Chicago. There, there hasn't been a ruling. A report came out showing how terrible Chicago policing uh, was and is, um, a judge actually, um, well, it was approved by a federal judge um, for the consent decree, January 31st of 2019. January 31st of 2019, here we are, we're, we're, near, we're knee deep into um, 2020 and there's still no compliance. Gold standard, for policing and being synonymous with Chicago. I don't see it happening. Now, for those of you who don't know what the consent decree is, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read it to you. A consent decree is a court order that establishes an enforceable plan for sustainable reform. Typically, consent decrees are detailed documents that include specific re requirements and deadlines for action. Police consent decrees in other cities around the country have required an independent monitor. The independent monitor needs to be approved by a federal judge. Once the, once the federal judge approves the independent monitor, the monitor is charged with measuring the police department's progress by making sure police department implements uh, the changes required in the consent decree. The independent monitor reports to the federal judge. The federal judge oversees the police department's compliance with the consent decree and holds the department and the city accountable for satisfying the consent decree's requirements. Now, this has never happened in the history of Chicago's policing, ever, okay? The fact, and the police union is fighting against it, you know, tooth and nail. So a, a consent decree is forcing, it's forcing the police department to deal with human beings, to deal with human beings as human beings and not being shot down like animals or treated like nothing, okay? So gold standard and synonymous with Chicago, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen, okay? So I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't know if you guys saw the video or the you know the Facebook live feed that the uh, mayor put on, but I, I just don't see that happening. Um, there's a lot of skeletons in the Chicago Police Department's closet that, that needs to be revealed. And until that happens, I don't think we're going to uh, move forward as far as relationships between the police department and the community. 
I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think. Put a comment down below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get updates on when I uh, upload new videos. So tell me what you think. I'm, I'm really interested because I don't see how we're going to be able to move forward if we can't even get a consent decree. You still have half a century worth of uh, misconduct files to go through. I don't see how that's going to happen. But not only that, not only that, now that's just from 1967 all the way up to 2015. So that means if it's as recent as 2015, that means those police officers are still on the force, are still on the force, okay? So that's gonna be difficult. That's gonna be difficult. So um, this is not a anti-police video. This is just um, dealing with, um, we're just being objective about the situation, okay? And if we're gonna fix the situation, we have to be objective about it. We have to be accountable um, for what's said and for the actions that's um, that from the police department and as well as the community as well, okay? We gotta um, take accountability for our role, you know, in this mess, but all the no-knock raids and kicking down doors and shooting everybody and getting off, those days should be over. Those days should be over. You know, oh, I thought he had a gun, so I had to empty a clip, reload, and empty it again. And people find that okay. We can't do that anymore. We, we have to figure out a way to um, get this consent decree and have it enforced. That's the problem. That's the problem, is getting the consent decree in force. Now, knowing the history of black folks, anytime there's any legislation, some sort of law, any ordinance, anything that's supposed to be in our favor, we never reap the benefits of it. Everyone else does, okay? Everyone else does. And there's certain wording that goes into the, um, um, the law or the decree or whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want to call it, that makes it to where the people who's been targeted by the police department and the way that they conduct their policing, they won't reap the benefits of it, all right? So just think about that, and we can talk about it in the comments. Love somebody, but more importantly, love yourself. Stay safe out there. Um, shelter in place. Shelter in place as long as you can. Um, you don't want to bring anything home to your family. Uh, you don't want to get sick. You don't want to, you know, get grandma sick and things like that. So just be smart about it. Be smart about it. Protect your mind. Protect your body. Peace.